National Honor Society induction ceremony. I am Grace Grant, Vice President of the National Honor Society. Our president, Mason McKnight, is at the University of Georgia today participating in a wonderful opportunity. Today is a very special day for us as we, the current members of NHS, will pass on the torch of honor to many of our stellar peers. We await your induction with pride and anticipation. Will you please join me in standing for the Pledge of Allegiance? excited to be here. And yes, Mr. Banks, I am off the script, and as happened every time I've met with you. It's an exciting time for County High School today. We're in deference and some young men and women that have committed themselves to being excellent. We're already looking at a group out here, and soon more will join us. Last week's Habitudes lesson was about commitment. These individuals are the epitome of commitment. You can look in the dictionary and find that picture. Right up in the corner. So, good afternoon and thank you all for coming to this year's National Honor Society induction ceremony. The purpose of the National Honor Society is to create an enthusiasm for scholarship, to stimulate a desire to render service, to encourage the development of character, and to bring forth the qualities of leadership in the students of Calhoun High School. The members being inducted today exemplify these values. During my tenure at CHS, I've come to appreciate the integrity and the dignity of this prestigious event. The Calhoun chapter of the National Honor Society began in 1979. So I'm not, pardon me, 1974. The National Honor Society is a organization established to recognize and foster academic achievement while developing other characteristics essential to good leadership. The four specific areas under examination for membership are scholarship, character, service, and leadership. To be eligible for membership, the following conditions must be met. The student must be a member of the junior or senior class 
and have attended CHS for a minimum of four and a half months or a member of National Honor Society at another school. The student must have a cumulative secondary academic average of 90% or better. The candidates are then evaluated on the basis of the four pillars. The selection of members to the chapter is then evaluated by the faculty council. <coughs> As principal, I'm proud to say that our best and brightest students will be recognized today for their accolades and accomplishments. I would now like to turn the ceremony over to the Vice President of NHS. Not be here today, I will be reading her speech. There are four pillar, pillars or foundational characteristics each member of the National Honor Society must possess. The first pillar of National Honor Society is scholarship. As defined in the Merriam-Webster Dictionary, scholarship is the character, qualities, activities, or attainments of a scholar. This definition looks at scholarship on a broad scale, but when examined closely, scholarship is the culmination of the drives and desires for knowledge and a bright future. Scholarship is the process of constantly seeking answers to even the simplest of questions and being open to the possibilities of new perspectives. It is a valued attribute that will carry a student far, as scholarship will take one to the undiscovered corners of the world and bring back new information to those around him. It creates a thirst for knowledge not only for personal improvement, but also for the betterment of one's contemporaries and future generations. To have scholarship, a student must possess honor and integrity, as one must uphold the highest standards in morals and work. Without these qualities, true success in academic growth is impossible. Above all else, a student must possess a habit of scholarship. The perseverance to never stop pushing forward is essential in all that we do, and the, to complete dedication in which we do things in. The stamina to never quit, no matter how daunting a task is, distinguishes an ordinary student from a scholar. And it is because of this drive that a true student never stops learning. Having scholarship encompasses more than books and facts, as scholarship is about striving to know the whys and the hows. It is about being relentless in the search for the meaning and the ability to apply new findings to everyday life. Scholarship is more than just a mere action. It is a way of life. It creates a foundation for a long line of success. As said by James Russell Lau, true scholarship consists in knowing not what things exist, but what they mean. It is not memory, but judgment. Knowing facts can be done by anyone, but the understanding of facts is what creates scholarship. I will now light the candle representing scholarship. My name is Drake Grant, and I'm the current vice president for the Calvary High School National Honor Society chapter. For those of you who have been selected for induction, I would first like to congratulate you for your hard work. A major factor in your selection for this honor is service. It is the second pillar of the National Honor Society, and it is a critical piece for our completion. One of National Honor Society's goals is to stimulate a desire to render service. Not only does the community benefit from your service and volunteer work, but you benefit as well through the satisfaction of knowing that you have given something back and are helping others. All of the students who will be inducted today and in the future have already demonstrated their dedication to service. We are committed to the idea of volunteering our time and abilities to the creation of a better tomorrow. I will now light the candle representing service. of the National Honor Society is leadership. My name is Rachel Green and I hold the position of secretary. My office is dedicated to leadership. Most describe leadership as being something that one is born with, but I disagree. Leadership is the result of having deep faith in one's abilities and potential. A person may be born with a great sense of faith and dedication, but it is a leader who learns to harness that faith and dedication. Ralph Waldo Emerson once said, 
The creation of a thousand forests is in one acorn. Essentially, the power of a vast group of people comes from one person who begins the journey with wholehearted dedication and faith, the leader. Leadership is a characteristic that everyone possesses, but one must learn how to channel that quality in order to make a difference. If your actions inspire others to dream more, learn more, do more, and become more, you are a leader, John Quincy Adams. The National Honor Society is an elite group of young leaders who represent diligence and courage, ready to build their future and motivate others to do the same. Be selfless and willing to create your own wonderland. I will now light the candle representing leadership. I now introduce Laura Heath, National Honor Society Treasurer. My name is Laura Heath, and I serve as a treasurer for the Calhoun High School National Honor Society. My role as treasurer represents the third pillar of the National Honor Society, character. Character is one necessary quality that must be present in all of us before we can achieve great things. Character reflects the mental and moral qualities of each individual. An individual defines his or her lifestyle by the kind of character he or she displays. As character is based on the decisions one makes, it is true to say that each individual is capable of developing his or her character. Being a member of the National Honor Society means that one must exhibit a positive, strong character so that he or she may lead others down the same path of achievement. One must exemplify honesty, courage, and integrity. As each student is inducted this morning into the National Honor Society, know that you are looking at an individual who is known by his or her teachers and peers to have the character desired by many and respected by all. I will now light the candle representing character. our parliamentarian, Lynette Naranjo. Hello everyone, my name is Lynette Naranjo and I currently serve as a parliamentarian of the National Honor Society. The National Honor Society was established by the NASSP during the year 1921, followed by the National Junior Honor Society in 1929. The National Honor Society was founded by Dr. Edward Ronerson of Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. When it first began, there were only a few local clubs, but by 1930, the organization had grown into over 1,000 chapters. Today, there are more than 1 million students participating in NHS and NJHS. NHS and NJHS chapters are found in all 50 states, including the District of Columbia, Puerto Rico, many U.S. territories, and Canada. The Calhoun High School chapter of the National Honor Society was started in the year 1960. Since 1968, the chapter has grown vastly, as we are proud to induct new members into NHS today. The following faculty were inducted in the National Honor Society and will now be recognized. Julie Leggett, Carol Walraven, Allison Eubank, Crystal Beal, Jenny Chadwick, John Pruitt, Kendra Arnold, Sharon Hall, Brittany Wilson, Shannon Miles, Deidre Raspberry, Amal Brown, Michelle Knight, Michelle Griffith, Michelle Taylor, Tommy Hoblitzel, Peter Kim, Stephen Karn, Lori Fisher, Timothy Langston, and Dr. Suzanne Dobson. I would now like to turn the ceremony over to our Vice President, Greg Grant, for the topic of new members. All members selected for membership today have met the membership criteria and have been selected and approved by Calvin High School's National Honor Society Faculty Councils. Current members, please escort new members to the stage.
President John Ledbetter for induction into the National Honor Society. We accept John Ledbetter into the National Honor Society. You may now sign the registry. Vice President, I present to you Ava Gallion for induction into the National Honor Society. We accept Ava Gallion into the National Honor Society. You may now sign the right. registry. <laughs> Madam Vice President, I introduce John Patrick Boss to be inducted into the NHS. John Patrick Fox into the National Honor Society. You may now sign the registry. Madam Vice President, I present Andrew Swan to be inducted into the National Honor Society. We accept Andrew Swan into the National Honor Society. You may now sign the registry. President, I present to you Austin Bennett for induction into the National Honor Society. We accept Austin Bennett into the National Honor Society. You may now sign the registry. Madison Turner for induction to the National Honor Society. We accept Madison Turner into the National Honor Society. You may now sign the registry. Madam 
Madam Vice President, I present to you Karen Valencia for induction to the National Honor Society. We accept. You may now sign the registry. Vice President, I present to you Lucy Leggett to be inducted into the National Honor Society. We accept Lucy Leggett into the National Honor Society. You may now sign the registry. Vice President, I present to you Grayson Tilly to be inducted into the National Honor Society. We accept Grayson Tilly into the National Honor Society. You may now sign the registry.
accept Holistic Meadows into the National Honor Society. You may now sign the registry. into the National Honor Society. You may now sign the registry. on the registry. Announce on the registry. You may now sign the registry. into the National Honor Society. You may now sign the registry. Scripture into the National Honor Society. You may now sign the registry. You may now. 
confirm the registry. Sign the registry. Madam Vice President, I'm convinced you, Elizabeth Garcia, for induction to the National Honor Society. Elizabeth Garcia into the National Honor Society. You may now sign the registry. Madam Vice President, I present to you Taylor Sewell for in induction into the National Honor Society. We accept Taylor Sewell into the National Honor Society. You may now sign the registry. Madam Vice President, I introduce to you Jared Williamson to be inducted to the National Honor Society. We accept Jared Williamson into the National Honor Society. You may now sign the registry. Madam Vice President, I present to you Austin Cherry for induction to the National Honor Society. We accept Austin Cherry into the National Honor Society. You may now sign the registry. into the National Honor Society. You may now sign the registry. Madam Vice President, I present to you Isaac Logan for induction into the National Honor Society. We accept Isaac Logan into the National Honor Society. You may now sign the registry. Madam Vice President, I present to you Jacob Robinson for induction into the National Honor Society. We accept Jacob Robinson into the National Honor Society. You may now sign the registry. Madam Vice President, I present to you Katie Rawls for induction into the National Honor Society. We accept Katie Rawls into the National Honor Society. You may now sign the registry. Vice President, I present to you Hannah Gravitt for induction into the National Honor Society. We accept Hannah Gravitt into the National Honor Society. You may now sign the registry.
Vice President, I present Samuel Parker for induction into the National Honor Society. We accept Samuel into the National Honor Society. You may now sign the registry. Madam Vice President, I present to you Shelby Haggard to be inducted into the National Honor Society. We accept Shelby Haggard into the National Honor Society. You may now sign the registry. Madam Vice President, I present Joshua Gallman for induction to the National Honor Society. We accept Joshua Gallman into the National Honor Society. You may now sign the registry. Sergeant into the National Honor Society. You may now sign the registry. <laughs> Members, please stand and repeat the National Honor Society pledge. I pledge myself to uphold the high purpose of the National Honor Society to which I have been elected. I will be true to the principles for which it stands. I will be loyal to my school and will maintain and encourage high standards of scholarship, service, leadership, and character. To the students, I'd like to say congratulations. Uh, you represent the highest caliber of student at Cali High School. You must know that you leave here today and you'll be held to a higher standard because the freshmen sitting in those classrooms, I'm telling you now, look, look at the people in front of you on that screen. This is what you should aspire to. And ladies and gentlemen, you have a solemn duty Show them day in and day out what it means to uphold a tradition of excellence. To parents, what can we say? You take your most precious bundles and you give them to us. It's a, it is a incredibly humbling task that we wholeheartedly take as educators. We certainly appreciate what you've done as a parent. You have raised kids that I would go to war with. But that being said, there is a reception in the lobby. Uh, we'd like for you to join your child, enjoy some refreshments, talk with us. It's an exciting day. Ladies and gentlemen, you can be a little bit late to your next class. <laughs> Students sitting out in rooms. As I said, these are the folks that you look to, and that's our expectation here. Also, let me say this to everybody that has class on this end of the building. If you are going to uh, the band room or a course, will you please come in from an outside door? We're going to close the lobby off for a little while. That's for y'all sitting out there. Um, this induction ceremony is completed. Thank you.